hello everyone today we will solve one problem on instantaneous center of rotation here is the problem statement problem is on slider crank mechanism crank length given is 6 cm connecting rod length is 25 cm crank speed is 31 radian per second clockwise Crank angle is 30 degrees from IDC. You have to look at all the ICRs and find out angular velocity of connecting rod and linear velocity of piston. Now the very first step is to draw the configuration diagram using some suitable scale. Now the dimensions given are 6 cm and 25 cm. So for A4 size page, we will take scale of 1 cm equals to 2 cm so we'll draw the configuration diagram now this is the line of stroke of piston next we'll mark the crank position name it as Point o. Next, crank angle is 30 degrees with respect to IDC. So at O, here is IDC. From IDC, we'll take point of 30 degrees. Now here on this line, we have to mark the crank length. So 1 cm is equals to 2 cm is our scale. Crank length is 6 cm. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. So we will take 3 cm crank length. Connecting rod length is 25 cm. So 25 divided by 2 is 12.5. So this is 12.5 centimeters. So this is the position of piston. So we'll draw the piston. Draw the connecting rod. Name this point as C for crank pin, P for piston pin. Now, after the configuration diagram is drawn, we need to number the links. So, we'll start numbering the links from fixed link. Fixed link is link number one, crank is link number two, connecting rod is link number three, piston is link number four. Now, after this, we Determine the number of ICs present in the mechanism. For this, we'll use the equation n equals to L L minus 1 divided by 2, where L stands for total number of links. So there are four links here. So total number of ICRs are 6. So we have to look at all these 6 ICs. For that, draw one freehand circle. We will divide this circle into number of parts equals to the number of links. There are four links, so we will divide this into four equal parts. We will number these divisions in any sense. So four links, four divisions. Now we will start locating the ICs. We will start from link number one. Link number one is connected to link number two using a pin joint. So here is I center I12. After plotting I12, we will join the points 1 and 2 on the circle. This line represents ICR12. Now 2 is connected to 3 using another pin joint. So here is the common I center I23. We will join the line 2 to 3. The moving Further, link number 3 is connected to link number 4 using a pin joint. 
so here is i34 draw the line i34 now link number 4 is connected to link number 1 using a prismatic pair whose the center of rotation will lie at infinity so to locate that i center which is at infinity we need to draw a line perpendicular to the line of stroke of piston this line will pass through i14 which lies at infinity now we have plotted the obvious ICs I12, I23, 34 and I14 the remaining two ICs are 1, 3 and 2, 4 so first of all let us plot 1, 3 so we will join this line I13 so I13 lies on line joining these two ices 1 4 3 4 1 4 3 4 and i 1 3 also lies on line joining these two ices 1 2 2 3 what we have done we have identified the two common triangles or the two triangles of which 1 3 is the common side first triangle is 1 4 3 and second is 1 2 3 so I13 lies on line joining these two ICs 1, 4, 3, 4 as well as it lies on line joining these two ICs 1, 2 and 2, 3. This is the application of Kennedy's theorem. Now let us draw these two lines. So first line is line joining 1, 4, 3, 4. So it is 1, 4, 3, 4. This is the first line. Second line is line joining these two ices. 1, 2, 2, 3. Here is 1, 2. Here is 2, 3. So we will extend this line. These two lines will meet each other at I, 1, 3. So here is my I center. I, 1, 3. The next we will plot I24. So for that, first of all, I will join this to 4 and identify the two triangles of which I24 is a common side. Now here is the first triangle 1, 2, 1, 4. And second triangle is 2, 3, 3, 4. So I24 will be located at the intersection of line joining these two ices first line is 1 2 1 4 this is 1 2 and this is 1 4 which lies at infinity on this line so to reach 1 4 at infinity from 1 2 we will draw a line parallel to this line which is already passing through i 1 4 at infinity so this line will pass uh, uh, through I14 at infinity. So this is the first line joining I12 and I14. Second is the line joining 2, 3 and 3, 4. So here is 2, 3, here is 3, 4. This is my second line. These two lines will intersect at I24. So we have plotted all six number of ICs. Now to find out the angular velocity of connecting rod that is link number 3 we use angular velocity ratio theorem. So we have the velocity of link number 2 is known and we want to determine velocity of link number 3 so we have to make use of this I center I23. So applying angular velocity ratio theorem omega 3 by omega 2 is equals to i 2 3 common i center i 1 2 and i 1 3 so omega 3 divided by omega 2 is equals to distance between i 2 3 and i 1 2 we'll measure the distance 
distance between i 2 3 and i 1 2 so this i 2 3 i 1 2 which is 3 centimeters which is 3 centimeters now the distance between i 2 3 and i 1 3 here is 2 3 here is 1 3 this is equals to 14 centimeters so therefore omega 3 is equals to 3 divided by 14 into omega 2 which is equals to 31.416 so we get omega 3 is equals to doing these calculations we get omega 3 is equals to 6.68 So speed of connecting rod is 6.68 radian per second. Now what about the direction of this velocity? So for this we will look for the location of common eye center I23 with respect to I12 and I13. I23, I13, I12 will lie on a single straight line according to Kennedy's theorem. But I23 lies between i13 and i12 therefore link number 2 and link number 3 rotates in opposite direction omega 2 is clockwise so omega 3 will be anti clockwise since i23 lies in between 1 2 and 1 3 the velocity of piston for velocity of piston we cannot use angular velocity ratio theorem so we know velocity of link number 2 as well as link number 3 and we want to determine velocity of link number 4 so we can make use of any one of these two ices to find out velocity of link number 4 so let us take i24 so we will consider i24 to be on link number 2 so when it is on link number 2 it will rotate with link number 2 and when it rotates with link number 2 its linear velocity is equals to radius of rotation that is distance of this i center from center of rotation of link number 2 into its angular velocity now we need to multiply this by scale factor i24 to i12 this distance is equals to 1.8 centimeters this distance is equals to <coughs> 1.8 centimeters into omega 2 is 31.416 into scale factor is 2 so velocity of i24 when it lies on link number 2 is 106.814 centimeter per second now in the second step we consider i24 lies on link number 4 which is the slider itself and all the points on the slider will have same linear velocity i24 now lies on link number 4 and we know the linear velocity of i24 so sliding velocity of link number 4 is nothing but the velocity of i24 which is equals to 106.8 centimeter per second so this was a very simple numerical on instantaneous center of rotation for slider crank mechanism in the next lecture we will solve one more numerical on icr method thank you